Music of the Southeast Asia. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the given music from Indonesia. Listen to the musical ensemble of Indonesia. Describe how music of Indonesia relates to their culture. Music of Indonesia. Okay, class, let us now discuss the music of Indonesia. You can see class, in the map, so makikita natin class yung uh, Philippines ay nasa taas, sa bahaging taas. So ang makikita nyo sa mapa class ay uh, yung lahat ng puti. Okay, no? so yung lahat ng puti na nasa baba ng Pilipinas ay yan ang Indonesia. So napaka uh, laki nung uh, Indonesia. No? So, katulad din siya ng Pilipinas, it is an archipelago or it is composed of uh, many islands. No? So, ayan yung Indonesia nasa baba. No? So, kasama niya yung uh, Malaysia, no? yung uh, ano pa yung kasama niya? Ayan, yung Malaysia, yung uh, Papua New Guinea, Yan, no? So, yan ang Indonesia. Okay. So, Indonesia is an archipelago in Southeast Asia comprising approximately 17,500 islands with over 238 million people. Indonesia is the world's fourth most populous country and is the fourth biggest nation of the world. Through interaction with other cultures such as India, Arabic, Chinese, and European, a wide range of musical style has been developed. Today, the contemporary music of Indonesia is popular not only in the region, but also in the neighboring countries. So class, imagine 17,500 islands. No? So, ang Pilipinas tayo, class, we, ha we only have 7,641 uh, 7, uh, no? yung updated natin island, no? Sa Pilipinas ngayon. So, sa Indonesia, they have 17,500. So, ang laki nung uh, kanilang uh, uh, land, no? Yung kanilang island. And, uh, sabi daw dyan, class, uh, uh, Indonesia is the fourth pang apat na uh, biggest nation no? in the world. Okay? Sabi din dito, class, dahil sa uh, interaction ng Indonesian sa iba't ibang kultura, like uh, yung Indian culture, Arabic culture, Chinese culture, and European culture. Dahil sa kanilang uh, paikisalamuha sa mga uh, banyaga, no? yung mga, mga iba't ibang uh, countries, so, nakapag-develop sila ng uh, kakaibang uh, kultura ng musika. No? So, that, that is why uh, yung kanilang musika ay hindi lang kilala no? or popular. Or hindi lang kilala sa, sa kanilang uh, bansa but uh, sa mga karatig bansa din. No? Sa mga kalapit ng uh, bansa. Okay, class. So, let us uh, talk about the uh, elements of music or the characteristics of uh, Indonesian music. Sabi dito, class, there are two basic kinds of Indonesian music scale. So, ano ibig sabihin ng uh, there are two ba basic kinds of Indonesian music scale? Uh, ang scale, class, ito yung uh, sinusundan ng composer. No? Yung, yung pattern ng uh, tones. Para makabuo ng uh, melody. No? So, yun yung scale. So, sabi dito, class, ang Indonesian daw, class, ang Indonesian music ay merong silang sinus dalawang uh, basic scale or musical scale na sinusunod sa pagbuo ng kanilang music. Number one, yung slendro. Okay, so yung slendro, class, it is a five equidistant tones in octave. 
So meron daw limang uh, tones no na sinusundan. So meron silang limang tones doon sa octave. Pag sinabing octave, ito yung walong notes or tone, no? Sa, sa isang octave merong walo. Kaya nga oct octa, octa, octave. Merong walong notes. Pero doon sa walong notes, yung slendro lima lang yung uh, ginagamit doon sa walo. No? So, yun yung slendro. There are five equidistant tones. So, ito yung example sa image. No? So, sa image, ang example niya, ayan, yung, yung note C, yung note D, yung note E, yung note G, at yung note A. No? So, the five note gamelan scale is called the slendro. Gamelan, gamelan notes don't exactly match western scales, but the slendro is roughly equivalent to the notes of the major pentatonic scale on C. No? So, ayan yung uh, slender scale. Basta, ang, ang, ang uh, keynote lang class ay uh, kapag slendro ay five notes yung ginagamit no? para makapag-create ng isang melody, no? ang isang Indonesian music. Okay? Yung next class ay yung pelog. No? Yung another musical scale nila na ginagamit yung pelog. Ito naman ay heptatonic. Ibig sabihin, there are seven tones no, in a scale. No? So again, sa isang octave, merong walong uh, music, uh, notes no? sa isang octave. Pero ang pilog, again, seven lang yung ginagamit within an octave. So, pito lang yung ginagamit na notes. Okay? Yung pagpilog. Okay? So, ito yung example sa image ng pilog scale. So, sa pilog scale, yan ang example. Yung E note, F note, G note, A note, B note, C note, at D note. No? So, yan yung uh, pelog scale. So, ang keyword lang class ay pag slendro, 5 notes ang ginagamit. Kapag pelog, 7 notes yung ginagamit. Okay? So, both vocal and instrumental music in Indonesia use slendro and pelog scales. So, parehas daw uh, ginagamit. No? Usually, uh, usually, isa lang yung ginagamit. Pero, ped, ginagamit din daw nila. Minsan, ginagamit nila ng parehas. No? Yung slendro at pelog scale. Polyphonic stratification kind of melody is a result of hackett interlock. So, pag ibig sabihin class, yung polyphonic, uh, pag sinabi kasi polyphonic, it is a texture in music. No? Pag sinabing texture in music, ito yung uh, dinedetermine yung kung ilang layer of music sa isang composition, sa isang music. No? So, ma-identify mo yung layer of music, kung ilan yung uh, tumutugtog, yung distinct melody nandoon sa music. No? So, ang ibig sabihin daw, ang characteristic daw ng uh, Indonesian music ay polyphonic no at uh, interlocking pag sinabing interlocking uh, may mag mag start na melody tapos at the middle of that uh, uh, first melody merong papasok na isang melody tapos meron ulit isang papasok na melody so nagkakaroon ng interlocking no pero mapapans ma identify mo na merong there are three or more melodies kaya siya polyphonic no kaya nga from the word poly madami, phonic sounds. No? So, there are more uh, two or three or more sounds. So, interlocking is common technique used in gong ensembles. So, yung interlocking nila daw, interlocking music nila ay ginagamit sa kanilang uh, gong ensemble. Okay, so, irama is an Indonesian term for tempo. Again, class, what is tempo? Tempo is an element of music, ano ibig sabihin ng tempo? It denotes what? The speed of uh, the speed of the music. The, the slowness or the fastness of the music. Yung bilis o yung bagal nung uh, uh, musika. No? So, sa Indonesia, ang tawag daw sa kanila ay irama. Yung tempo. 
vocal music is used as ornamentation of the gamelan. It is as important as gamelan. So, yung vocal music class, yung yung uh, voice, you know, yung 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 akapela, yung pagkanta ng tao ay uh, ginagamit daw yon as ornamentation. Pag sinabing ornamentation, ito ay pang uh, pang pa beautification, pang paganda ng uh, uh, musika. Yung gamelan kasi class, at pag sinabing gamelan sa Indonesian, ito yung uh, orchestra nila or yung ensemble. Pag sinabing ensemble, yung pinagsama-samang mga musical instrument. Mostly mga wind instrument or uh, percussion instrument. Okay? It is as, as important as gamelan sa kanila. No? Number one, Pasinden is a female soloist singer who sings with a gamelan. So, pag sinabing, pag yung kumakanta ay babae, na uh, solo lang or soloist singer, ang tawag doon ay pesinden. No? So, kapag kumakanta yung babae ng solo, kasama yung gamelan or yung orchestra, tawag doon pesinden. Okay? Kapag uh, yung gerong naman daw, refers to the unison male chorus that sings with the gamelan. So, ang gerong naman daw, kapag yung uh, mga lalaki ay kumakanta in unison, ibig sabihin ng unison, sabay-sabay, no, in chorus, no, ay uh, kasama yung uh, orchestra or the gamelan, ang tawag naman doon ay gerong. Again, class, kapag uh, babae, solo lang yung kumakanta kasama yung orchestra or the gamelan, ang tawag ay pesinden. Kapag mga lalaki naman, marami sila, kumakanta sila ng sabay-sabay in unison, kasama yung gamelan or yung orchestra, ang tawag naman doon ay gerong. Okay? Gamelan. What is a gamelan? The gamelan or gamelan orchestra is the most popular form of music in Indonesia. There are many types of gamelan, but the famous Japanese and Balinese gamelan are the most famous. It contains a variety of instruments such as metallophones, xylophones, kendang, and gongs, bamboo flutes, bowed and plucked strings. So, class, katulad nung sinabi ko, yung gamelan, ito ay orchestra. No, ito ay pinagsama-samang musical instrument na tumutugtog, no? They produces a harmonious, no, beautiful uh, melodic or music. No? So ng mga instrument ng gamelan, no? So makikita nyo yung picture na sa kaliwa, yung name tapos yung description. No, yung yung una, yan yung kendang, no? Yung a double-headed drum played with hand. So double headed siya kabilaan no. Tapos next yung gongs. Yung gongs class ito ay metal no. No, meron din tayo niyan dito sa uh, sa ating sa Cordillera no, meron din tayong mga gongs. So diyan ay bowl like appearance and a round knob in the center. So next is yung suling. Ito ay bamboo ring flute. So uh, wind instrument siya no, hinihipan siya. No? Next is yung bonang. No, yung bonang, idiopon siya. Collection of small gongs placed horizontally on two strings. So, yan yung mga example ng uh, musical instrument na kasama sa gamela. So, class, uh, para ma-experience nyo at ma ma maintindihan nyo or ma ma-analyze nyo yung uh, characteristic ng uh, Indonesian music. So, try to listen to this uh, example. No? So, ayan yung link no, ng example ng uh, gamelan no, or Indonesian ensemble. So, try to uh, listen to this. Okay, so that's all for now class. Thank you. Keep safe and God bless everyone.